Hello and welcome to Project Bullseye STEMI. I'm your host, Kevin Mackey. Today we're going to talk about the five things in STEMI that we need to do right to get the bullseye, which remember is the best patient encounter. The first ring on the target is actually one of the easiest. It's just documentation. When we encounter a STEMI patient, it's very important we put into primary impression, like you see in these examples from Image Trend and Healthy MS, the primary impression of STEMI. That's the first ring. The second ring on the target for STEMI is the alert. Calling the alert ahead to the hospital is what engages an entire team. Cardiologists, interventionalists, uh, ICU doctors, ICU nurses, ER docs, ER nurses, all of us are engaged when you call an alert and we're preparing ourselves to receive that patient. That's a very key part of STEMI is calling the alert ahead to the receiving hospital. The third ring is aspirin. Now aspirin is a very essential medication, especially in the setting of STEMI. Several studies have shown that aspirin given by paramedics results in significant improvement in morbidity and decreased mortality. So therefore, aspirin should be given by you or documented that it was not given, for example, if they're allergic to aspirin or if they'd already taken aspirin prior to your arrival. The fourth ring on the target is that 12 lead. We need to obtain that 12 lead quickly and remember from prior videos on 12 lead EKGs I've shot with Dr. Garzon, the goal here is one high quality 12 lead. Ideally with the patient sitting still, ideally where you find them, either in their house, in the car, wherever you encounter them initially, getting that 12 lead early in their care and getting it within 10 minutes of arrival of that first ALS unit. That's right, so the fourth ring of the STEMI target is acquiring a 12 lead within 10 minutes of the first arriving ALS unit. And finally, the fifth ring on the STEMI target is transmitting that 12 lead. So once we've obtained the 12 lead within 10 minutes of the first arriving ALS unit, that can be engine or ambulance, we're going to transmit that 12 lead as quickly as possible to the cardiac receiving center. Now there is no time course on when to transmit that 12 lead. I know that there's connection issues, especially if you're in a high rise, you're not close to a hot spot, but the moment you can make connection, transmitting that 12 lead to the hospital engages that team, call that alert, and then everything is set in motion and we get the best patient outcome. So let's review them one more time. First ring, documenting that you have a STEMI. Second ring, calling the alert. Third ring, giving aspirin or documenting why you didn't. The fourth ring, acquiring a 12 lead within 10 minutes of the first arriving ALS unit. And finally, transmitting that 12 lead to the STEMI receiving center as soon as possible. Okay, that wraps up this one. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me.